For Halloween, let's do something different. Here are five of my favorite scary moments in horror cinema. Number five. Let's start with a recent release, Mike Flanagan's Oculus, about a mirror that messes with your senses, distorting your perception of time, space, and reality as a whole. The 2014 thriller achieves most of its scares through cognitive dissonance. Take for instance this scene, wherein our heroine, Kaylee, unveils the evil mirror for the first time in 11 years. What? Why are there three... <sighs> what are you doing? You know this is messed up. Also, it's the middle one. The middle one's fake. No, the middle one! Check the middle one! Ah, I'm freaking out! Make it stop! Number 4 You can't talk scary movies without mentioning John Carpenter's 1978 slasher pioneer, Halloween. Trick or treat, motherfucker! Michael Myers may have got watered down over the years, but no one could forget his original depiction as an enigmatic shape devoid of human conscience, compassion, or even reason. He's the ultimate boogeyman and no sequence communicates this better than the film's closing shots. Oh no, Michael has escaped. Is he upstairs? Under the couch? Behind the bedroom door? Or maybe he's in your house, right behind you. <laughs> Number three. If someone were to ask me what Juan the Grudge is about, I'd tell them it involves a curse that slaughters all who step into the Seiki house, and then you pee your pants. The 2002 J-Flick is loaded with top-notch scares, but only one claws at the very fabric of my childhood. <coughs> I mean, what kid hasn't run scared into their bedroom after hearing a strange noise? What kid hasn't sought refuge under the covers? What kid hasn't turned on the TV to forget their home alone? What kid Dutch oven? <coughs> Number 2. One of the most referenced sequences in horror history has got to be the ending to The Fly, which is ironic given the creature presents no threat to anyone or anything, except the very laws of nature! Oh god, this thing should not exist. It can't exist. I deny its existence. Ew. Ah, that's better. Number 1. You know Psycho. You know it's great and you know what it's about. If you don't, I urge you to check out the 1960 masterpiece this instant as you're in for one hell of a ride. Everybody talks about the shower scene, and with good reason, but the bit that always gets to me is when Arbogast sneaks up the stairs in Norman's house. Notice the pitch-perfect timing of the upcoming sting, and the bold angle Hitchcock chooses for the money shot. Here it comes. <laughs> This episode's Dumb Way to Die, propelled down the stairs because you flailed your arms about after ignoring your peripheral vision. I'm Dimitri from Indiamanic.com reminding you to stay safe. <laughs> ah, he was behind the couch. For more inanities and movie reviews, please subscribe to our channel and check out Idiomanic.com.